This is a redesign of the rock, paper, scissor game that I created a while back, with, um, but it was too bulky, so I made it a little bit more compact. Um, it's using the same ideas of the matrix, uh, the computer generator, the input, the restart, and how it, um, the generator can be uh, restarted even after reload. And uh, you can see it over here, this red redstone dust is acting weird because I just restarted and this is just showing its effects that it, uh, it will restart itself after um, a, a, pl uh, a player intervenes by pushing. So it's a lot uh, very small because there's nothing above the decoder. This is the matrix area where the X and Y coordinates from one one is from the player, the other is from the computer. The decoder that's on top will decode what is the the tie, the win, and the lose. This is just to make sure that um, that the, the once the selection has been made from a win, tie, or lose, it doesn't it doesn't change until it has been reset and this is just a bus to show you what you uh, what you won this is the restart and over here this last piece is the uh, is to um, restart the whole entire cycle of the random generator if if it ever gets stuck like it is right now so if we come down here it tells us you win, you lose, or a tie, and your selection is rock, paper, or scissor. So, and um, these lights will tell you what you locked in, and you can't change it. So, once you press your selection, you have to wait until it's been restart, which is indicated by these lights, uh, which is like a loading, but it, it only has an on or off. So, let's just check. Well, I already checked it, but yeah, let's play with it. So if I press paper, it cycles this one time and um, it'll keep going through that loop. So I have one. And you can see that it chooses a selection. Oh, it just restarted now. If I choose another selection, say paper again, I might I won again, and it it shows you only one selection. The, even though this is off, these are still cycling through them, and it's still in this position. Uh, if I uh, I use the matrix because it's a lot easier to. Uh, the code and it's much simpler than other methods and it's relatively easy because each one is a 11 percent chance of winning each of those um, points on the matrix because a rock paper i mean um, a win lose and a tie each have a 33 percent chance of uh of you uh, choosing one of them at least so choose paper again which this lights up this will tell me, or from randomly, it generates uh, for the computer and it tells me I have lost. And it's about even this time because each one it cycles through three, so it always has a selection. So here, this is the selection area. And it generates through that. That's the generator, and this will, the this is the matrix. You can see that every few times there is a point being generated when I turn it on. When I choose a selection, it has to have an X and a Y to work, to function. And even though it's choosing from, an, uh, from this X, it has to choose another Y. And that's why only one point lights up, decodes it, and selects and travels through the bus and restarts here. So thank you.